All right, guys, the girls and I are gonna head out and do a little bit of harvesting out in the garden. Let's go check out what we've got. All right, guys, you ready to go do some harvesting? What do you think, girls? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. bunch of them. Grab the potatoes. Grab them and go girls. Grab potato them and go. Hunt. The potato hunt. Those Yukon golds look good don't they? All right Ali so what do we do here? What did Paul Gauchi tell us to do? We drop the biggest one in. Put the biggest and best potato right back where you found it right? Yeah. Why is that? Right, it's gonna come up next year and we're gonna have potatoes for life. More yeah, potatoes. And we, we love have, potatoes, don't we? We're gonna have a I lot of potatoes. We're gonna have a potatoes. We're gonna have a lot of potatoes. Yes, we are. Potatoes. You especially love mac. So all of these pickles we just found, not even looking for them, in the wood chip garden. I'm not sure what's better, the wood chips or the regular garden. I think they're both producing equally. It's just the wood chip garden took longer to come up. You guys saw in previous videos, it took forever for all of this produce to start coming up, but we've harvested, I mean, tons of pickles now, uh, green beans, peas, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, strawberries, strawberries zucchini. zucchini, like crazy. So this wood chip thing is definitely working. All right, guys, so I've been pulling up all the old spinach that's bolted here, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. Let's see how these chickens like it. All right, girls, did we have fun? Yep, this is all the produce we picked. That's, yep. a, that's a big harvest, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that, we got green beans and potatoes and carrots and peas and, and cabbage. We have and pickles, what is of that? Course. Cabbage. Big old cabbage. And some fat pickles. Yep, tons of fat pickles. And we have some potatoes. We sure do. Look at how many pickles. And we have some carrots. All right, here it is, all clean and washed up. And this is just a fraction of what is out in that garden. Look at all those pickling cukes. Huge guys, too. And the harvest just keeps coming, guys. These strawberries are just producing fantastically all summer long. If you're curious about the uh, variety, these are TriStar and they have just there is their first year and so i think that's why the strawberries are a little smaller but they are just every plant is producing all summer long and just tons of them and the more we pick the more they just keep coming back i'm just i can't believe we're getting so many strawberries from these first year plants they just keep coming and i think a lot of that is attributed to the wood chips we come out here every day and pick strawberries and more just keep coming in every day. The wood chips have kept this entire garden area moist and doing just fantastic all summer long. I've only watered 
the blueberries, the strawberries, the raspberries, and the trees one time this whole summer, it's just retaining moisture and producing for us awesome. And I just, I cannot believe how well everything's doing with these wood chips. The other thing that's just really bizarre about this wood chip garden, I showed you in that other video about how the garden was doing, the back to Eden garden, and how this area right through here is six inches of manure and six inches of wood chips, and the seeds didn't do that well. In fact, this area, they did the worst. They sprouted, we had a whole row of beets, and they did nothing. The carrots, though, are doing great. The cilantro did great and is now gone to seed. Our peppers over here are doing fantastic. We had a whole row of peas that produced really well and they finally died off. And our cabbage, we've got quite a bit of things actually producing. When it started getting down below the wood chips and I think the roots were actually getting into contact with the manure and soil, they started to take it off. But this is really interesting here. So we planted all of these seeds and everything came up so small. If you go back to that video and watch it, and I'll put a link up in the corner up here, but if you go back to that video and watch it, they were tiny little seedlings and they didn't do much. And all summer long they struggled. And then we planted the other garden over in the chicken coop over there. And they just, that garden took off and surpassed this one. But now that these plants that have been in the ground way longer since the beginning of April, now that the roots have gone down to the soil, look at this, we are getting so much production out of these uh, cucumbers, these pickling cucumbers that are in the wood chip garden. Now, the garden over in the, the uh, chicken coop is producing massively. We have done, I think my wife's canned, I don't know, probably, 30 or 40 quarts of different types of pickles, but now in the wood chip garden, it was it was slower, but it is producing almost as much as the chicken coop garden. We've got a big pickle right there. We've got one right there. Every And she just picked through these two days ago and actually canned another batch of pickles from these guys right here. But uh, I'm out here just a couple days later and I'm just finding tons of pickles. These things are producing like crazy. It's just really amazing. We've got our regular salad cucumbers here and they're actually producing. She pulled a huge cucumber out just the other day. It's just this wood chip garden just amazes me. And just when I thought you couldn't plant directly in wood chips, I proved myself wrong. You can plant <laughs> directly in wood chips. Apparently, here's the proof. And as soon as those roots, it'll take longer, but as soon as they hit soil or get down in there where they're getting more soil and moisture and nutrients, they just take off. I mean, here's the proof. We're getting tons of pickles. You know, we've gotten tons of green beans out of these guys. I mean, look at this. We've been picking all summer and they just keep producing. It's just amazing. The wood chips work. And the, the benefit is we are not watering any of this garden. We're watering the chicken coop garden constantly. But this garden with the wood chips, we're not watering. And it's just growing like mad. Another little baby pickle there. And tons more flowers just keep coming out. I mean, it's just an endless supply of food. It's just, I'm really curious to see how far into the fall these plants produce. It's like there's no end in sight. And this has all been producing for a month, month and a half. It's crazy. And here's those zucchini that I had the videos on, the four of them. I mean, they are just out of control and we get so much zucchini on a daily basis. I'm amazed at how fast these zucchini are growing. Let's take a look in here. It's just out of control. Every day, these things double in size, and we've got more and more. There's so many zucchini, I don't even know what to do with them all. We've made zucchini bread, we've made zucchini chocolate bread, zucchini lemon bread. We've given zucchini away. My dad fries it and eats it for dinner. I just don't even know what to do with all this zucchini. I mean, look at this. Every day I come out here, and there is more and more zucchini. I think next year, one plant will do. <laughs> OK, 
at this. Look at that. I, holy buckets. I was just out here, guys. And this guy was not here. Look at that thing. I mean, holy cow. I mean, this would be a good size for picking and eating. Maybe a little bit bigger than this guy. This is out of control. This is zucchini bread here. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, it's just it's just amazing what this wood chip gar garden will do. And once again, I'm not watering and I'm not weeding. And I want to show you guys all these pepper plants because I didn't think we'd be able to get peppers to grow that well in this state. But as you can see, I think they're growing well. These are Anaheim peppers and they're still growing. And we've got more heat coming on through the rest of the month and then September. Uh, forecast shows very little rain and lots of heat so I mean it's just I think we're gonna continue to get tons more peppers these guys I believe are those are bell peppers look at that Wow just growing like crazy and then we've got some these guys are uh, jalapenos right here jalapenos growing like crazy in this area and I just I attribute it once again to these wood chips a constant supply of moisture down there. Just amazing. So if you guys saw that last Back to Eden video I made, you'll see that I was a little skeptical. And the reason is because I planted all those seeds in it. They came up, and this was way back in April. And those seeds came up and they just stayed small. Now some of them, like the beets, they just they just struggled. They couldn't make it and they ended up dying. But the carrots and the peas and the cabbage and the pepper plants and the zucchini, uh, the potatoes did fantastic. The cucumber plants all made the cilantro I mean it all made it just fantastic and it did take longer now like I said the the chicken coop garden was planted a month and a half I believe after somewhere around there a month and a half after the original garden in the wood chips and they took off because they were right in soil but we had to water that garden constantly I had to weed a ton more but they, they grew really fast and really healthy, I think because the chickens were in there fertilizing all winter long. But once more time went by in those little seedlings out in the wood chip garden, I just left it on. I wanted to see what would happen. Once those seedlings, little roots, went down in there and found the manure and then found the soil, oh man, guys, you can see it's just taking off. I really thought, I, I was just skeptical. I thought, after looking at that and comparing, I thought we had failed. I thought the wood chip garden had failed because I planted wood chips. But this proves if you plant in wood chips, even if you plant right in the wood chips, six inches of them, and just be patient and give it time, those crops will catch up with the crops that are planted right in soil and then produce just as much as the crops planted in the soil. The benefits are way less weeding, almost no weeding. I mean, we walk through there occasionally. The, we, the only weeding we do in that wood chip garden, we walk through it just to look at all of the production and all of the crops and just you know, be in awe of all of it. And as we're walking through, if we see something, we bend down and pull it up and just throw it down to decompose right back into the wood chips. And that's the only weeding that we're doing. I mean, I'm not going out there to weed anything. And the other benefit is almost no watering at all. I mean, almost none. We have had a long, hot summer, once again, third year in a row here for the Puget Sound area. It's rained, I think, one time all summer long, and it wasn't a very big rain. Maybe twice if I can remember right, but I, I think it's just been one, I think it's just been one rain. But, I mean, almost no watering. It, one time I walked through and watered everything myself. That was it. That chicken coop garden where we've got the things planted right in the soil, we've been watering every other day with this overhead sprinkler that we leave on for an hour. And so everything's grown great and it's done well. And I think a lot of that's attributed to the fact that the chickens have fertilized that area. But the chicken or the wood chip garden, I mean, it's caught up and is producing just as well as the chicken coop garden. So what I was gonna do was I was gonna 
completely annihilate the wood chip garden area where the vegetables are, not where the berries are, but where the vegetables are. I was going to till all that manure and wood chips together and spread it equally over that area and the chicken coop garden so I only had a thin layer of wood chips over the whole area. But now after seeing what I've found out here, I think I might just leave things the way they are and just add a couple inches of wood chips to the chicken coop area and then let the chickens go over a bigger bigger area over into the wood chip garden. Anyway, I know there's a lot to say there, but you've seen in the video now and you know how that wood chip garden has performed. It started off slow, took a lot longer to produce, but I think each year that'll get better and better as those wood chips and manure break down more and more. But eventually, even though it started off slow and took longer, it eventually caught up with the same plants that were planted in the soil and is producing just as much. And the advantages are way less weeding, way less watering. So I'm back to saying I'm convinced the wood chips are the way to go, guys. And so I would highly recommend using them. Of course, I would probably recommend using just a couple inches right on regular soil instead of planting in straight wood chips. You'll get faster results, but I highly recommend them and I'm really, really excited to see the results of this garden next year after it's had a whole nother year to break down and decompose with the rains and the weather and then the chickens getting out there on top of them and pooping and doing what they do in them. We're going to find out and I'm going to show you that. but. Thank you for coming along on this little journey of our Back to Eden garden. If it just continues to produce, I'll continue to post about it. But uh, thanks for joining me. I've had a lot of fun showing you guys. I hope you learn a lot and get something out of this, and it helps you make a decision about your own Back to Eden garden. So until next time, guys, enjoy the harvest, and uh, have an awesome week.